And welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution Blind. Let's find Pritchett and fix our retinal implant because it's flickering, flickering and not working very well. So, up the stairs and then where? Cindy? Oh, hello, Cindy. My God. Mr. Jensen, I didn't think you'd. Wow. I guess you hear about the break-in. Did you need directions or something? It hasn't been that long, Cindy. I may not look the same, but my memory's pretty intact. Oh, I, I didn't mean... I, I mean, of course, your memory's fine, sir. It's just that well, things have been switched around a lot ever since the... Well, since the... <laughs> She's cute. First attack. Yes, sir. The lab floors were pretty much demolished. We're rebuilding them, but most of our researchers are working off-site now. Everyone else has been shuffled around, so if you need help finding someone... Oh, so here we have the conversation system, it seems. So yeah, tech lab. Where's the tech lab? It's not really a lab, sir. It's more of an office with a lot of computer equipment shoved in it. Mr. Pritchard complains about it all the time. Uh, go up the stairs behind me and take a right. You'll find it near the end of the hall. Okay. I'm not very good with directions, but... You said everyone's been moved around? Almost everyone. Who are you looking for? I need to get to Seraph's office. Oh, he and Mrs. Margulis are still in the penthouse. You can use the elevator at the left wing of the building to get there. Has my office been moved? No, sir. You still have that great view of the lobby. Mr. Pritchard wanted it, but Mrs. Margulis <laughs> stopped at that. Up two floors and make a right. Thanks. That's what I'm here for. Anything else, sir? I don't suppose we moved the helipad, did we? Uh, I, I don't see how we could have moved it. <laughs> oh, you're teasing me. <laughs> Very funny, Mr. Jensen. Go up the stairs to the second floor, then around the cafeteria to the exit. I think I saw Farida heading there earlier. Farida? Okay, let's see if I... If you say so. It's... It's good to have you back, sir. Yeah, let's see if I can I can find myself and find uh, the way around because me and directions not very good pals. I know, but Jensen, isn't it a bit early to toss him back into the trenches? I hear he's almost fully recovered. His body accepted augmentations with remarkable ease, but that doesn't mean his mind did. We all know what happened when he was with SWAT. The Mexican town massacre wasn't his fault. Then why was he kicked off the force? I'm just saying he's too much of a risk. Okay. Why is David keeping the SWAT team from going in right away? Doesn't he remember the last attack? You can't compare the two. Those guys were obviously military. These ones are just vandals. Vandals with guns and bullets that kill people. Look, David cares about his people, but he needs to protect his clients' interests. Don't worry. I'm sure he's got it. Yeah, me. I like the ambient talking. It um, breathes life into the world. So, yeah, Frank Pritchard. Hello, Frank. Can I close your door, please? Nice office. Ish. Well. Final Fantasy 27. <laughs> Square Enix. Cute girl. And a motorcycle. Hmm. Hello, Frank. About time. What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? Yeah, nice to see you too, Francis. Douche. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might be. Oh. Looks like your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. Oh, rebooting. But don't worry. Your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data, too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. 
Maybe this time you'll actually save people. Oh, come on, that's just uncalled for. If you got a problem with me, Pritchard, why don't you just say it and get it over with? Why no, Jensen? I don't have a problem with you. If anything, I blame myself. The mighty Pritchard blaming himself. <laughs> that's gotta be a first. I'm the one who told Sarif we needed a physical security team to protect us. If he'd read my report closely enough. Wait a second. Are you saying it was your idea to hire me? Not you, Jensen. I wanted Dynacore, Sharp Edge, or Bell Tower. All the top private security contractors were on my list, but Sarif wanted somebody in-house. And so did Dr. Reed. Hmm. I suggest you leave Megan out of this. Why, Jensen? It's no secret how close the two of you were. And let's face it, you'd just been fired from SWAT for that massacre in Mexican town. No one was about to hire you. You really have to stop getting your news from those Pikes blogs, Francis. They only confuse you. The point is, if Sarif had listened to me, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But Megan, God love her, always did have Sarif's ear. Sarif's ear is going to be hearing a report about violence in the workplace if you keep this up. You really feel like continuing? Point taken. Where are you, Adam? You don't have time to mess around. Get to the helipad, or something seriously bad is gonna happen. Okay, okay, I'm going. I'm just gonna find it first. Follow the X, I'm guessing. Up the stairs. Uh, no? Through the doors? Cafeteria, right, helipad. Man, I didn't believe it when they said you were coming back, boss. Not the way you were busted up. I know. Hey, Adam. I can't tell you how glad I am you're back. It's nice to be back. Oh, the cafeteria. All the contracts we lost because of the last attack and the Washington hearings being postponed. Now this. Damn fanatics. Do you think the news is right? That a pro-human group is behind this, Mr. Cannon? Don't spread rumors, Debell. Sorry, sir. As if working so much wasn't bad enough. We got to defend ourselves against a bunch of self lunatics. <coughs> You're not complaining now, are you, Dobell? No, Mr. Cannon. Sorry. Hey, nice ride. And here's our female pilot. Nice. Nice ship you got here. Welcome back, Jensen. Didn't think we'd see you around here for a while yet. You know how it goes, Malik. Duty calls. Don't I know it? I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance Center when I got the 911. But you, six months is a hell of a short time to come back from the dead. You sure you're ready for this? Yeah. Only one way to find out. Roger that. The boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraph wants you to go in first. Are you all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. Okay. I'm ready. Great. Then let's get airborne. Let's get things done. Let's send in the cyborg. yellow. Really nice contrasts. The smooth... <laughs> wow. I told Farida to put us down on a roof. I don't want the crowd seeing you go in. Fine. As long as she pulls you up a minute, I'm gone. So what am I looking at here? Who are these guys? Pro-human purists, or so they say. The same purists who've been firebombing limb clinics all over the country. You buy that? No, I don't think it's a coincidence they hit us today, only hours after we moved the Typhoon in for assembly line factory. The Typhoon? Megan's team was testing it the day that bastard... Who's on point for these guys? Adam. I know you and Megan were once... Who is on point for these guys? Goes by the name of Sanders. That's him, there. He's an augmented Adam. So he can't be one of the mercs who attacked us. But he did know exactly how to get inside our plant. All right. So how do you want me to handle this? 
First priority is the Typhoon. I'm keeping SWAT out until you've secured it. As far as rules of engagement go, I'll defer to you. Lethal or non-lethal? Yeah, I'm probably going to use non-lethal as much as possible. I'm not looking to start a firefight in there, just neutralize them. Okay, but just make sure those bastards don't wake up and warn their friends. You remember what it's like in there? A lot of tight enclosed hallways, but the labs themselves are pretty open. High ceilings. So, do you want something you can use from a distance or up close? I'm not much of a sniper, so short range. The closer the better, I think. That way I'll be sure they stay down. You got it. The Typhoon should be in the factoring labs. The station will tell you more as you go in. I've got him running calls. Oh, great. Terrific. Anything else? Keep your eyes open for hostages. Free them if you can, but the Typhoon is your number one priority. We developed it for the Alphabet agencies. And if we don't deliver it to them intact and still a secret, well, I'm sure you'll get the job done right. Gentlemen, prepare for landing. Here we go. on the ground. Jensen to the rescue. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. <laughs> 